She retired after declaring that it just wasn't financially viable to continue her career anymore, and she wasn't getting a shot at the WBC lightweight title that she wanted. Decided she wanted to come back, give it a second shot. And she certainly has the fanfare to help drive her as round one begins. This one's scheduled for eight rounds. Sharapova was the very first women's boxer in the history of Kazakhstan. A real tra trailblazer for the sport in her home country. And since her, three other women have turned pro in Kazakhstan. Pova certainly not hesitant to let her hands go here in the, the early going. Marjanovic still really trying to get out of the starting blocks. Looks like Marjanovic might be cut already, perhaps over her left eye. Good three, four, five punch combination from Sharapova. And the eye of Marjanovic not looking great already here in the opening round. Oh, you couldn't have asked for a better start for Sharapova. An almost perfect opening round for the Kazakh star. A truly one-sided opening round here. If we look back at some of the action, we'll try to get a, a glimpse at where that cut over the left eye of Marjanovic originated. And I think we saw it there in the replay. And we haven't been given an official indication, but it certainly looked in the replay to have come from a punch. Whether the cut came from a punch or not, <laughs> a lot of damage came from punches from Sharapova in that opening round. And kicked things off brilliantly in round one, and she is right back to where she started here in round two. Just nothing coming back from Marjanovic so far. And Sharapova, to her credit, I mean, she has been campaigning for tougher opposition. We mentioned her retirement was due to the fact that she felt she deserved a, a WBC title fight, wasn't getting the funding or, or the ability to get that fight. But she was in negotiations to face Eva Wallstrom. And of course, Katie Taylor has the WBC lightweight title as well, or had the WBC uh, lightweight title at the time. So she's been asking for these big fights. Speaking of big fights, for Sharapova, last year odds were released for a possible fight between Sharapova and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Obviously, there were no discussions of that fight. However, Sharapova said she'd be happy to go and train with Putin.
Good body work from Sharapova a, a moment ago, and just a, an onslaught of punches that are not being returned by Marjanovic. We see some of the action from the second round. One-way traffic here for Sharapova. Good body work. And we see the cut kept reasonably under control by the corner of Marjanovic. Who's coming in, riding a five-fight win streak, but not off to a good start here tonight. Round three begins, and uh, just to correct myself from earlier, of course, Katie Taylor is the current WBC lightweight title holder at the time that Sharapova was campaigning for that fight back in 2018. Taylor had not yet won that title. Of course, Taylor won that title in June of 2019 when she defeated Delphine Pursuing the first time. Good left hand right down the middle there from Sharapova. You do have to hand it to Marjanovic because although she is eating a lot of leather so far, she hasn't looked in distress. She's certainly bloodied. She's taken a lot of shots. And although she's maybe not throwing back as much as you'd want her to, she's still taking her chances offensively here and there. And hasn't seemed to waver from her plan of attack. But Sharapova just overwhelming her once again here in round three as the blood continues to flow down the face of Marjanovic. See some of the body work here from Feruza Sharapova. And that right hand landed right on that cut, and it was under control until that right hand scraped it. And now there'll be some uh, work to be done in the corner of Marjanovic. Seconds out. Round four. Round four underway of this eight round women's lightweight contest between Feruza Sharapova and Sarah Marjanovic. It has been all Sharapova through the first three rounds and already here in the fourth round as well. We mentioned Sharapova's last contest against Happy Dowdy in her uh, comeback fight in Kazan just a couple of months ago. A, a very unfortunate mismatch and not exactly uh, a showcase for Sharapova either, who kind of fought down to Dowdy's level and at times seemed like she was kind of taking it easy on her and showing a, a little bit of mercy at times. 
Marjanovic a, a step up in opposition, but in saying that, hasn't offered much resistance offensively. She has been able to stand up to these punches nonetheless. Sharapova has six KOs to her name, but as you can see, uh, I think that as she rises up in the ranks and gets those bigger fights and tougher fights that she's been calling for, I think her calling card will be her volume. She has a tremendous punch output, and albeit there isn't much coming back here tonight, but she has main maintained a healthy work rate through these first four rounds. We see some more of that high output from Feruza Sharapova. Round five begins. And important to note that Sharapova hasn't gone past the fifth round since September of 2018. And during that layoff that, sh that we referenced, we'll call it a layoff, but at the time it was a retirement, she gave birth to a child and was thinking about things other than boxing before opting to return to the sport. sensing that there were indeed opportunities for her. So even getting past this fifth round, assuming she does, is still a good step for Sharapova. As she continues her uh, comeback, if we are going to call it that. Combination downstairs there from Sharapova. And you can see the amateur polish with Sharapova. Getting some good leverage on these body shots, very technically sound. Very busy, really crams a lot of action into these two minutes. And it'll be interesting if she can carry this work rate up in opposition, what she'll be able to achieve at the higher levels at 135. More of the same from Sharapova in the previous round, which is uh, turning into a showcase, really, for her offensive arsenal. You know, so whatever th she thinks up, she is landing it. It was a lot of focus on the body attack in the fifth round. Seconds out. Round six. See if that'll have an effect 
on Marjanovic as we enter round six. He's been able to absorb a lot of headshots, but a volume body attack can be a lot to take for even the toughest fighters out there, and Marjanovic is indeed tough. This is the seventh country that she has fought in tonight, so boxing is uh, adding a whole lot of stamps to her passport. Sharapova looking a little out of sorts there a moment ago, and there, you know, she throws so much that sometimes you know, not all of the punches can be technically perfect, but just keeps throwing. There's a good looking combination from Sharapova. But these are also good fights to learn in. You know, she may look at the tape and look at some of these sequences where maybe her chin's a little bit too high as she's throwing those combinations upstairs and determines she needs to correct that. She's able to learn those lessons here tonight really with, without much of a threat in front of her. Really the question at this point is, is will Sharapova stop Marjanovic or not? It would be hard to fathom a scenario in which Marjanovic could take a decision barring you know, a, a multitude of knockdowns. Final 10 seconds of round six. The right hand sneaks in there from Marjanovic. Sharapova replies and that'll do it for the sixth round. saw a moment ago, that's really the only way that Marjanovic has been able to stop the onslaught from Feruza Sharapova. That's by holding on. That's by just grabbing a hold on the inside. And probably the first significant shot of the fight for Marjanovic there. Saw at the end of the replay seven. that counter right hand. Maybe a little confidence boost for her. We'll see if that maybe entices her to throw a little bit more here in the seventh round. This one's scheduled for eight. Still to come, our middleweight main event. It is Shamil Katayev and Gracia Margarian. Good looking Russian prospect in Katayev. Good body work there from Sharapova. <laughs> we mentioned that Sharapova has been uh, highly publicized throughout her career, and unfortunately, most of that attention has come because of her appearance. She was voted. Kazakhstan's best-looking athlete. A lot of the things that, that typically, you know, litter the coverage of women's athletes that, frankly, would not happen for uh, a male fighter. But recently on Sharapova, just a couple of weeks ago, she reiterated that, I hope all this attention isn't just for my looks, but for my victories. And we keep coming back to the types of fights that she's calling for. You know, Sharapova wants to win a world title. And no doubt, a lot of that attention that Sharapova gets, the publicity, that may lead promoters to give her 
some opportunities. But she is in here trying to earn it. Saw the cut over the left eye that Marjanovic has been dealing with basically since round one of this fight. Looking at action from round seven. Cherapova showing off some of her movement here in the seventh. Showing some rhythm and some range on the outside. The final round, number eight. And we'll see how she closes the show here in the eighth and final round of our uh, women's special attraction here live on the Salida Promotions YouTube channel. I'm so pleased that you could join us. Corey Erdman here calling the action all day or night long, depending on uh, where you're watching. Four more fights still to come. get a look at uh, a whole host of rising Russian prospects, many of whom have fought one another, so there's some uh, continuity storyline-wise in many of our upcoming bouts. As Sharapova just keeps her hands moving round after round. And has really just never let Marjanovic get going. And Marjanovic has won her last five. Two of those have come against fighters in their pro debuts. And the other three against fighters with just one professional win on their record. Clearly a substantial step up for her against Sharapova. But a massive opportunity for her against a big name like Sharapova. Wasn't afraid to take it. And she hasn't been afraid to stand in here all night long. A brave effort from Marjanovic, but ultimately a dominant performance for the Kazakh star, Feruza Sharapova. One last look back at the action from the eighth and final round. And just not a lot that Marjanovic could do with Sharapova in this fight, who uh, clearly better schooled, not more experienced in the pro game, but likely more experienced overall. And just a little bit too much in her arsenal for the double tough Marjanovic, who showed a lot of heart and standing in there for eight rounds tonight. See Marjanovic in good spirits.
it looks like we are ready to make this one official. Let's send it down to our ring announcer. Firuza Sharapova improves to 12 and 1. A one-sided victory over Sarah Marjanovic as she continues her comeback of sorts in pro boxing and continues to march towards a possible world title shot. A uh, slight step up in competition for her tonight in Marjanovic from her last fight with Happy Dowdy. And really not a whole lot to criticize when it comes to Sharapova. Uh, looks like uh, we will hear from the star herself. Well, I, I honestly wish I had an explanation for the, the viewers as to what we just watched there, but uh, I've never seen anyone <laughs> confront the ring card girls after the fight. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll take a look back at the real fight here, which was between Feruza Sharapova and Sarah Marjanovic. A clear shutout decision victory for Feruza Sharapova, who improves to 12 and 1. More action still to come in just a few moments here on the Salida Promotions YouTube channel. 